So, here on Unbox, we love Fortnite. Nathan, what is that behind my back? What is that? It's a llama. It's a Fortnite llama. So here on Unbox, we've looked at a couple of unique Fortnite setups for both mobile and console and a bit on PC. But I feel like today, we are bringing that double-edged sword to Fortnite PC to give you that edge that other people just don't know about. If you are new to Fortnite, this is typically what you'd have. You'd have a pretty basic keyboard, a pretty basic mouse. You know, you're gaming, you're wondering why you're getting killed a lot. What do you do? A, S, D, F, W? There's no app. It's just these three right here. And you got your mouse to aim. You know, you're trying to quick scope. But this is a pretty terrible setup. Your keys are not as ergonomic as you would like. Your mouse is like a potato, pretty much a piece of wood. What can we do to elevate this? First up, you need a mouse pad. So these go online for about 10 all the way up to 50 bucks, depending on which model you get. This is an extra large gaming mouse this is what most professionals use because usually when they're aiming they're moving their arm around a lot all right they have a low sensitivity on their mouse which is what gives them that high accuracy so you need a bigger mouse pad to aim a mouse like this isn't going to give you the best results it lags it's wireless pro tip never game on a wireless mouse so we need to upgrade our mouse first off here we are two mouses side by side a professional mouse this is the death adder elite this is what some professionals opt for there are more professional versions of razor mouses there are tournament editions this is just the plain one so as you guys can see compared to the two mouses there's a big difference the way it feels in the hand is something you need to look for how how it's how it glides so now that you've upgraded your mouse to something that actually aims and isn't a potato. The next thing you need to look at is your keyboard. Now, a keyboard like this, it's not gonna do the job. It lags, it's not good. Your hands, they get cramped, it doesn't feel right. When you click on a key, you don't know if it's going to register right away. So, let's look into two options. Now, this keyboard is called the Black Widow Tournament Edition, so it's something that you know professionals use. This is the one without a number pad, and the reason why I opted for this version is because most professionals will slide their mouse pad over to the side, bring their keyboard all the way over to the left side, and then use the rest of the mouse pad to aim. Now, with a larger keyboard, that eats more into your space. And I like to have my keyboard all the way on the mouse pad. This way, it's not like wobbling. It's not like, you know, when you get that wobble effect, like the latest iPhones, they wobble on a table. You don't want that. So that's why I opted for this. But there's a secret Razer controller that would be perfect for Fortnite. Now, the next item is very unique. It is going to give you that edge over a lot of other players. Professionals do tend to opt for a gaming keyboard, and that's just because it's just more convenient. At tournaments, they'll supply them, and it's just, they're used to it. They have that muscle memory, but let's check it out. So this is the controller in question. This is the Orb Weaver. And it's not something you tend to see every day. It has a couple cool features that the keyboard doesn't have. It does a couple things that the keyboard just can't do. You'll see right away at the top of the Orb Weaver, it does mimic what you'd find on a keyboard. It has your A, S, D, W keys already laid out. There is a middle imprint, so you know where the S key is. All the keys on the Orb Weaver are programmable, so you can like customize where your buttons are. If you need to load weapon one, instead of reaching over to a number one, you can have it right here on 15. It's up to you, you can customize it. Now, the difference in the Orb Weaver compared to a regular game keyboard is what you'd have access to with your thumb. There is a normal button here. There is a joystick-like controller here, as well as a space bar. Whenever you're gaming, your thumb normally just is used to jump. There's nothing else your thumb can do. But on the Orb Weaver, you can jump as well as have other functionalities to it when your thumb is just chilling there doing nothing. It's what's going to let you elevate your game over other people who are just using their thumb, which is a pretty, you know, pretty good finger, something you have a lot of control over to do other things. So instead of just jumping, you can jump and then reload. I can get used to that. And then you have a joystick to do other things as well. You can program it so that if you click backwards on it, it does one thing versus if you click forward. That takes a lot. It also has a regular clicking button on it as well. And it's also customizable. It sizes differently per person. So if I want to size it differently, I can click this indent right here and I can move it around depending on what the size of my hand is. You can also adjust how far out this thumb is. So you click it, 
goes in goes out now another thing to consider is that when you are gaming the orb weaver will take up a lot less real estate on your gaming mouse pad for you to move your mouse a bit further if that is something that is a concern to you if you are constantly hitting your keyboard this will definitely free up your space i feel like it's a solid option now both of these are comparable in price you have the black widow which goes for around 150 bucks depending on which store you go to as well as the orb weaver for 150 bucks regardless of which one you choose your fortnite game will be elevated look at this setup look at this setup the ultimate gamer's dream you got your keyboard you got your orb weaver you got your tournament edition mouse all of them light up rgb you can have them all just dancing in rainbows or color of your choice i don't know it's up to you which one would i go with i'd probably try the orb weaver both of them are good doesn't matter which one but this is the ultimate gaming setup you don't need a number pad no one uses number pads when you're gaming because then what are you going to use with your mouse 